Change mic, low quality. Wow. ASIO said that it's fine. I could turn off the volume, of course. Now it's all the way up. So. And as usual, I don't know which mic I'm talking into, so I'm just sitting like in the middle so that both would um, potentially pick up sound. And I still haven't like learned what one mic is called because they have very similar names. I think they have the same name on my computer, which is um, really confusing and probably not so smart. Oh, I should move the camera. Actually, I should move the camera a little bit. That is true. Camera was not like straight on. It still isn't, but... Make the board bigger. Yeah, but then you'd have to see less of me. And who would want that? Asios is a badass name, sounds like a fucking Spartan. Yeah, I'll allow that message, of course. Not only is it true, but it's also... Um, no. Very much needed. Asios needs more... Um, more credit, both for his DJ skills and his moderate modding, modding skills. Modding in moderation, I should say. Haha, <laughs> it's pinned by Asios. Nice. And um, as usual, I won't be showing the tournament scores um, here on, on screen. Partly because they probably won't be flattering for me, but also uh, because I think you guys should like focus on the games and the chat and the talk and um, not think about trivialities like scores in tournaments. Board is too big, we want more cam. Yeah, I know some of you want, but I feel like this is a decent... Um, Compromise. So we're playing. Uh, is that isn't that the guy who played in the first round last uh, Tuesday as well? I feel like that's the same guy. In that game I was lost, but I came back and won won the game. Starting off by playing the hammer opening, which is actually probably a, a li little bit better than its poor reputation. Corp cam and make board bigger so you can stay the same size with big board. Yeah, but that's like at least like that's at least like 1600 kind of way e5 is a little bit loose excuse me you're a decent player right first time chatter over there Very um, creative. Favorite chess trash talker happens to be a decent chess player as well. Yeah, that's how people know me. People come for the trash talk, stay for the chess. Meanwhile, here I have a pretty, pretty nice extra pawn. He does have some uh, active bishops, but should be considerably better. And I'll tr trade off one of the um, bishops 
Uh, and now the other one will, will be traded as well. But um, as long as I don't trade queens, which I probably shouldn't, then um, my uh, d pawn is a pretty significant factor. I was about to blunder now with uh, d3, but hoping for queen d3, rook e1, but queen c3 would pick up pawns. So let's just go rook d8. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Hoping for b5 and a4. It's really hard for him to create much activity when he's blocking the pawn with the, with the queen. Yeah, a4 is a decent enough try. So I think I'll go for rook b8, hoping for rook b4. And uh, then this might drop off or he might have to place his pieces on, on some pretty um, passive squares. So I'll give a check, he can take it, but then I'll take his rook and queen endings are generally pretty um, hopeless for him. Here I'll just give a check and then take with the queen. I could have taken with the pawn, but I want to, um, I want to win with, uh, without really having to, um, to calculate much. Which I think it's something that uh, a lot of people can um, can relate to, no? Wanting to to win purely by um, by technique. Of course, most people don't have that technique, but I do, so I can do that. So I, uh, let's see, I can just push. I've opened the H file, which makes my king like a tiny bit less safe, but it doesn't matter. Now I can just tuck it away in G6, because since I'm controlling this diagonal, and uh, this pawn is pushing, the other pawn is pushing. It's all very easy. Check. Asios is hitting the factory tomorrow, so he won't be able to stay as too long as usual. Uh, but Prashin Miao, is Prashin Miao staying for long? Prashin Miao is a married man, you know, so he um, may not be uh, be able to uh, to stay for for too long. see how I can bring my mic closer problem is that ugh, the head of the mic is it's a bit messed up now the mic is a bit closer no or maybe it isn't it's the other mic Or you can hear, or you can hear me better now. It's better now. I never know when people are. Uh, it's the same. Eh. 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 What about now? Is this better? Is this mic better? Same, uh, yeah. So there is a playing, yeah, I think he's playing. Too many mics, yeah, indeed. No, the problem is that, oh, 
maybe I can do this. Oh, that's genius. Why didn't I think of that before? Now is this good? This must be good, no? Did I just blow out your... Yeah? Did I just blow out your, your eardrums or whatever it's called? Okay, I'll turn it just a smidgen down. Mm, let me see, like this. Okay, okay, okay. Mic issues fixed a little bit. It hurts? Ugh. Who cares? Turn down your own damn volume. Mic issues fixed a little bit earlier than usual. I actually learned a trick now. Of how to... Um, For a lack of a better expression, how to to keep it up. Okay, let me see. Are there any games going? Yeah, there probably are. Problem is, I play so fast in these early games that we have to wait for, for a little bit longer. But that's okay. Why do the mods sound like pirates? Pushin, Meow, Asios. Well, they're, they're Spartans. They're pirates. They're everything in between. They're superheroes. Check, out, check other games. Yeah, maybe. That's what pro streamers do. And I have done that in the past as well. Thoughts on F1? Uh, I'll be following it a lot this year. I'll be faking enthusiasm. <laughs> Followed your advice of playing, sitting at the board and playing with myself. Haven't gotten much better at Better at chess, but I'm very moisturized now. I'll allow that message, of course. Um, that's that, as I said in in a famous clip, is what I did when I was when I was young. Any thoughts about Norway's Eurovision song? Well, if you tell me what it is, I may have thoughts. So face in disguise from Cyprus. I feel like I played this person. This Did this person just clap for me? How can I try and beat somebody if they just clapped before the game? But it's a, it's a nice gesture though. Now I'm trying to play the London, but I sort of changed my mind. Is this really good? Takes on c6, knight d4. It has to go all the by, way back to c8, I think. Oh, it's an online handshake, that makes sense. I can go g3, I can also go e3, fe, and then queen e2. Which, to be honest, looks like more fun. Also fe3, bishop b5, maybe? Then ef2, king f2, b6, rook e1, bishop b7, queen e2. There's not g5 to e4, g4 to a5, then. Maybe not so clear. So maybe I'll just go fe3, queen e2. Um.
Looks like a free piece. And I shall take it. Yeah, if you want music, you can go to Asios' stream. He usually um, DJs while doing um, various other things. Or in another, put in another way, uh, he has a lot of talents, including DJing. And um, he usually shows off some of them while showing off his DJ talent. Now, since I'm a, um, uh, I am a, um, night up. I'm pretty happy to exchange Queens. Let me just see what's 95. Is that good here? Queen D8. Yeah, that's unnecessary. Let's get them queens off. Oh, I was about to blunder. Then bishop f6 and it becomes a little bit more complicated than it needs to. Let's just trade, then protect the pawn. There are some technical difficulties here, not the usual technical difficulties that we have in this channel, but like actually like chess technical difficulties on the board in converting the advantage, but should be quite possible going to try and um, box in his rook. But my opponent is fighting well, has to be said. Let's just go h3, protect against and bishop f3. H3 was probably unnecessary, but that's okay. I want to retain the um, the A pawn here. Otherwise, with pawns on only one side, it's not so easy to um, to convert this. Now I finally get to activate my rook. I move twenty one. Uh, sorry, twenty nine. The rook makes its first move. And uh, let's go knight b6, rook c2, there's bishop d3, probably has to go rook c6. Uh, this I don't think is any good. Now I win a pawn, and I don't think he has any threats of significance anyway. Let's just go a4, bring the king in, king c3 now. Knight a2, but he's really entering resigned territory here. Knight coming to c6. Evening, Magnus. It's a pleasure to join your stream. Well, thank you so much for joining. I hope you'll enjoy. Okay. Let me see. I'm just curious as what the evaluation was. <laughs> wow, here, e uh, e4 is the best move. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, so, but takes, takes, bishop c8, e3, takes, oh, here's cb7, queen a2, oh, here actually a6 is clever. This is actually very smart. And then bishop b7, black will develop and it's, it's fine. Bishop b7, yeah, it just doesn't have doesn't have compensation. Here, this is pretty quick, cleanly winning. Let me see if there are any games to follow.
GM Ikaru has two out of two. Alvarez has two out of two. Very strong performances by them. Okay, let me see this game. Yeah, this is mate next move. What about Maxim the French? Oh. He's winning as well. None too exciting. And Drake in. Oh, this could be fun to watch. I think very high likelihoods that um, Black will win this somehow, being much the better player and um, slightly the better position and uh, much more time. Now he could go in with the king, which he does, and uh, I don't see don't see why it's surviving thus. Here he could, for instance, make checks. Queen d5, queen f5. And then if queen h4, you just go in. And I don't think the white pawns can be protected in the long run. Yeah, queen f5 is good strategy. King f3. And um, now queen h3 is threatened. That's good technique. Queen d5 and queen f3. I'm not too sure about... Oh, okay, so he took on g3. thought he was going to check and take on d4, but then anyway, the white king is getting a bit closer. So this... This may be a draw now. I think. <laughs> this is interesting. Queen e6, maybe, was a good try. Oh, f6, clever. Unless white loses some time, I think he's making a draw. King e2, queen e5. Yeah, black is not better here. Actually, now in the final position, like queen e4, king d2, f7. May just be winning. Yeah, it's actually not obvious. But um, Queen of Eight is the only move not to lose immediately. Uh, okay, I was gonna ask any games still going, but clearly there aren't. Reza. Mahdevi, or something like that. Born in 2008, really? That's pretty tough. Puma equals pushed up Magnus's A file. It's a bit of a reach, but I, I like to try. C4, I think I go E6. Finally break the symmetry here. 15 year old, yeah. Could even be um, 14. But um, a lot of people, I was gonna say a lot of people become very strong players at that age these days, but I mean, frankly, even a few years ago, um, uh, people were very strong at, in their early teens. Were you annoying as a kid? What do you think? Of course I was annoying. I was pretty short in stature. Um, so I had to, I had to use my words. You know? That was the only way for me to fight back. So of course I was annoying. Uh, it's A4, A5. Can't decide if, uh, this is good or not. I have seen <laughs> Alpha Zero plays similar plans, you know. 
not to invoke Alpha Zero every single time there is flank pawn advance, but um, actually, um, kind of want to take an e5. Even though I'm giving up some potential dark squares, as long as this doesn't open, then I have some pretty. And then my king is safe, and I have some nice squares for my pieces, especially here. And uh, dark square bishop is pretty passive, potentially. Biting into this pawn. And if he does jettison this pawn, well, then I will at least be a pawn up. Ellen Nilsson drew an IM the other day. I think you mean an IM drew Ellen Nilsson. She's very strong. Am I getting revenge for last week's Title Tuesday? Nah, I don't think about it that way. Uh, let me see. I guess I'll jump in. If rook a6 attacking this, then queen f5. Attacking f2. Maybe, maybe even queen g4, actually. Wait a sec. So queen f5, rook a2. There's a bishop b3 then. And then knight c1. It's really complicated. Bishop d b3, there's also queen b6. Okay, let me just stay solid. Rook b8, and I feel like I'm positionally much better. And uh, after this, I'm... Oh, he still has queen c4. Which I think is a bit lucky. I don't think he saw that in advance, but I'm, I still probably have a winning ending. Take it, check, push the pawn, and this should be um, pretty easily winning for me. King g2, yeah, I think I'll just push further. I give a check, uh, king h3, knight f3, there's Bishop g2, maybe. Okay, let's then just protect the pawn. Don't think you can ever trade because my pawn just queens. e6. Bishop b2. So he's trying to activate the bishop, which is fair enough. I'll go rook a2. G4, I think I'll just take and then push the pawn. Yeah, he doesn't have real counterplay here. And uh, I can just... Uh, I can just um, protect the pawn with my knight and then... And then uh, go queen. So he has a trap. Rook f1, then this. That would be um that would be quite a shame. So instead I'll, I think I'll just trade off the bishop and then c4 c3 wins. Okay. Uh I think that was decent enough. Um let me um see just I am a computer monkey like the rest of you, so let me see if I missed something big. Ninety four, yeah, black is already doing well. I didn't need to take an E five, but it's good. Uh 
Yeah, I could have five was not immediately winning. Rook B Rook B eight is actually the best. And he actually kind of pr protect everything. Oh, here, yeah, of course, queen of five was like better. It's... Then at least that I have to calculate stuff like this, and I don't have any immediate mate, and um, in the game. No, here was the queen of five. It's... Even in the game, yeah, it's never close to to blowing it. So Alireza lost, and Yukara lost, wow, what a bloodbath, tough round eh? And I'm, so they're 2 out of 3 and I'm 3 out of 3, Kara hung the queen, for the memes or he just blundered, Chelsea won? I like um, Potter. Like I don't like Chelsea, so I like him being in charge of the team. Yeah, that's mean. Mean for no reason. Really, they went seven 0 or is that only? A Oh, no, they were full. No, they went too many. Benfica won by a lot. Um, PSG or Bayern? Well, Bayern have the lead. Neymar is not playing. Neymar not playing might not be horrible for uh, Paris, though. I think Mbappe is the most important player for them. So, as long as he plays. Sterling and Kai score. Yeah, I saw Sterling score. I didn't see um see Kai. But he was really on in the first half. It's good to see. Uh do I know Odegor? Yeah, he plays a little bit of chess. Um in general I I'm no I I know most of the Norwegian footballers. I just I don't know them. I don't know them well. Uh, am I happy to win the um, sponsor cup the la on the last in in the last week? Yes, very very happy. We had a good team, some um, ex footballers. And um, I was a striker, and um, I had a very, very pleasant job of finishing off their um, their good runs by tap-ins. And it turned out that I could, as long as I was, I was in the right spot, sometimes I would get rebounds as well, a rebound goal. So it turns out that um, these one-touch finishes, I can actually do reasonably well, which shocked me. Fredrik Svana, um, he's the younger. I played him in another Tabu Tuesday as well. He's the younger brother of Rasmus. He's still a bit higher rated, but I think Fredrik is pretty talented and he's pretty booked up. So that's why he plays this Bishop C5 line, which is one of the big. So now he plays with Knight C6 or Knight D4. Is this the point? Okay, let me avoid the trade. Usually in that position, black goes a6, uh, sorry, h6 to prevent bishop g5, but maybe it's not necessary. Does he want bishop g4 now? f5, knight f5, f3, knight f5? Maybe that was actually possible. Okay, let's just protect this and then try and... Develop. Yeah, I was worried that he might go for a quick 
um, quick c6 and then d5. Now I kind of have to play this somewhat dull structure. Maybe he should have should have gone for a quick bishop e6 there. I don't know. I feel like my knight is not very good on c3, so I want to move it somewhere else. Call it here and then maybe here. Also now I give better protection to c4, which means that I don't have to take on c on b5, which I think would be a concession. And his knight is pretty short of square, so may, he may want to reroute it like this. So queen b7, I think I'm quite happy to go bishop a5. I'm not thrilled about exchanging those bishop potentially, but I am gaining some uh, some dark squares here if he trades. Maybe he wants c5 now? Don't think I'm too unhappy to see that though. Oh, I was about to go over rook d2, but I don't I think knight c uh sorry b4 and then knight c6. My queen is in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, maybe I've un may have underestimated this plan. But I'm still really solid. So I don't think I'm really worse. I'm probably not better. So he locks up the center. This is looking like a little bit like those um, Sveshnikov lines where white goes for an early c4. This, the structure would be the same without the pawns in c5 and e3. And now my pawn on e3, while it's obviously doubled, it does do a good job of, um, um, of protecting the square on, on, um, on d4, meaning that he could never put a knight there. And even though he gets, um, he, he does get a4, I don't think it does a whole lot. So he allows me to take, which is double-edged. I'm not sure it's good. Uh, e f4, but now at least my pawns are semi-mobile. And once again, I'm not sure he's really achieving all that much on the queen side here. So he's going to go rook a2, most probably. And uh, my knight has been on b2 for long, so it's time to bring it to, to d3 soon. So I'll go queen b1. And then knight e3. And the next I can probably go knight f2. And then rook d2. And just like in those positions that you get with... Um, in the Sveshnikov, like b3 is the only... Um, sort of have weakness that white has and... Um, the rooks don't really do all that much on the um, on the a file, so I guess now I'll go for e five, queen coming to g six. Also a lot of pressure here, but this should lose. But does it though? Okay, let me go knight g four first, introducing a fork. Now rook d8 is a big threat. He could go e4 and then hide the king on, on h7, but I think I have way too much activity there. Okay, he just resigned. <laughs> Funny, like, the evaluation is... Like, you might think that, like, for me as well, on the glance, I'm thinking like white is better, but it's kind of unclear. 
And computer just says white, like plus six. Best move is knight d6, which is just a free knight. Um, okay, let me see. Yeah, of course, around here I was not, not better. Uh, here, I mean, computer at low love that says that black is better, but it's, it's dropping a bit. So I don't, I don't think it's anything real. So double. H4, go change. And he definitely, yeah, he definitely should have changed. Now that I get F4, not worse. After, and after EF4, I'm already better. Uh, yeah, and this plan, putting the rook on A2 is just not the Knight D3, and now I'm already considerably better. Um, just, yeah, again, just like that other, other line. I think it's pretty instructive that these rooks are a little bit too far away from the um, from the battle and um, um, white is just better positioned to strike in the in the center and of course on the on the king side as well as it happens so h4 rook d2 and now e5 and white is just winning all of a sudden uh, queen d6 was made in eight Oh, no. Chose a move that made him resign instead of made in eight. I suck. But really, queen g8 was quite possible to spot, but I was fixated on this fork. But doesn't matter. It's uh, more than good enough. I think overall a um, very decent strategic game. So that's four out of four, um, which a lot of other people have. Uh, so that's a good start. And uh, now there is a bit of a break. <laughs> Kramnik is playing. Wow. Well, there is um, there is an increment. So none of the um, moral degradation that he's so loads so we'll have a little as i said we'll have a little break oh let me watch fres let's see if he's playing <laughs> fres lost on time zlatan what are you doing it's really bad Really bad. Uh, let's look at this. Dominguez. Dominguez lost as well. Dominguez had a fun fight today against uh, Penguin in the Armageddon tournament in Berlin. I quite... quite enjoyed... The, um, the finish of, of that game if anybody um, if anybody saw that Dominguez ha has had some good duels in the past as well like the one the match he had, had against so where like pieces were flying everywhere uh, like he actually won the world blitz in like 2008 or something um I think that's the only time recently that the World Blitz has been has been played without an increment. And he was just showing unbelievable flagging skills there over um, over the board. But today he was uh well, let's say he 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 uh, met his match in in uh Penguin who was uh, just at a um different level of um, flag flagginess. Are there really so many games going? No, these games are all finished. Yeah, I think all games are prob um, probably finished, so hopefully I'll still be connected when we um, 
when we return, when the when the next game is after a little break. My internet be damned. Have all my mods gone to sleep now? Mods, can you please show yourselves? Oh, I shouldn't give away the fact that the mods may have gone to sleep because people will be brave. Uh, oh, Pashin Miao is still here. People will be brave. The mere threat of mods is what keeps people um, keeps people sane, keeps people from um, doing their worst. I have discussed the possibility with Asios of doing a stream where we interview potential mods um, and um, to see if people can have the um, sort of the right sense of humor, the right sense of moderating in, in moderation that we, we like on this uh, channel. Do I have to dress up nicely for the interview? I'd probably prefer not to see it all, to be honest. <laughs> Let people donate and subscribe and use the money to pay mods. Oh, that is the point. Should I pay Asios? I probably should pay Asios and Prashin. Well, Pashin Miao is already employed by a company that I'm affiliated with, but Asios definitely should be paid. <laughs> also, has anybody seen Hammer today? Hammer was not allowed to mod anymore after being a little bit too hard on, on people the last time he modded. But um, he is a VIP in the channel. So uh, uh, we'd like to see some VIPs here. I actually like after the last stream, I actually modded some people and made people VIPs all on my own. So, and none of those who were modded or were made VIPs were here. So I feel like the sort of the um, instant gratification that I was um, searching, that, uh, that I was craving for my, um, for my work hasn't been, hasn't been shown. And that's not gonna, you know, motivate me to, um, to do good things in the future. Yeah, yeah, I know all of you want to, to mod. You just want the money. No, it's not about the money. It's about the power. Who is this? Guillermo Vasquez. Yeah, I know. From Paraguay. Okay. B3, huh? Well, let's go B5 then. It's about fun. Modding is about fun. Seems hard to believe. What should I do here? C6? I played this with reversed colors quite a bit. Even in like half serious games or actually pretty serious games. Then I usually take on f3, then I go knight e7, and I go g6. But that plan clearly doesn't work here. So I'll have to go g6, and then bishop b2, knight f6. Maybe I should have gone, like, for immediate. Um, well, now that he goes for d4, I think I'm pretty fine. But I, uh, yeah, as I was going to say, I don't have the flexibility of thought to... Uh, to go the other way, to um, to 
come up with a new uh, come up with a new plan when uh, my regular plan doesn't work. So I'm just trying my regular plan and uh, hoping it's gonna work. Man played one B four and is gonna win. Do you mean my opponent playing B three, or do you mean a different game? Because I don't think he's gonna win. Sure, he has a good position now, but will he still have a good position in twenty moves? We'll see. Uh, B four, I can go A five maybe. Kind of like a five. Ah, so this is the plan. D four is still weak. Like he has a lot of potential here on the queen side, but um, I don't hate my position. It's very solid. It's like one of those Aliakin lines where you change on F three, um, and White has a big queen side, but D four is really weak, and you're uh, very. You're, you have all your pawns on light square, so you're very solid as as uh, as black. I think you're misinterpreting the job. You're not interviewing to be me. You're interviewing to be a mod. A3... A3 seems a bit soft. I'll just aim for some of those squares, like C4, B5 maybe for my knights. I'm not worried about letting him into C5 because I always have knight B5 or knight F5 with counterplay against D4. And he's really spending a lot of time threatening a fork and A3. And I don't th think he can protect both. Book me in for the interview, but I'm definitely not in Norwegian time. I'll have to come back to Canada. I probably will be back in Canada at some point. I liked liked being in Canada. Better than being in the US, actually. And thus, I do... I did fail the challenge of complimenting Canada without slighting the US, which I think is a very tough challenge. Uh, wait a sec, he has some knight a5. So, it's not too easy. Knight a3, there's rook a1, so I have to take a good look. Now knight c4 takes. I will be a pawn up with reasonable uh, winning chances. But um, I was hoping for even more. But realistically, I don't think he'll hold. Should I go for h5, g5? Uh, okay, let's go queen b2 and then bishop d4. Or at least hoping for bishop d4. Uh, I probably just have to be patient here. I can take it, then plant the rook on the second, but... Don't think I should for now. Hoping for a potential rook b2. Okay, let's go rook b2. Queen c6 now. Rook on b1, rook d1. We go rook b4, preparing a possible bishop d4. And we fortify the bishop with e5. And then rook b2. And magically, 
he uh, he has to resign. But um, realistically, without time, it was very hard for him always there. And even objectively, there are some winning chances. So in practice, it always it always kind of works out. Let me see. Oh, I shouldn't have actually taken an eight. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, comp says that I'm completely fine. Which makes sense. How many beers would to bribe minus to be a mod? Uh, is it Canadian beer though? Well. He tried to bribe me with a beer last time, but I wasn't in the mood to uh, to drink then. But please try again. I was party with the chess bras. Yeah, party with the chess bras was good. The Aryan was kind of bringing us down a bit, but. Still was good. Uh, held a message for a reason. Sex based terms allow. We'll post it to chat. M Seth Mobile says mod or I leak the getting head while playing chess story. Well, either you were the one giving head which I don't think or you don't know the story so I'm not worried Did I drill for any oil while I was in Canada? Yes, I did uh, drill some of the local dirty oil that um, you don't want in Canada. You just export it all. Yeah, let's watch some games instead of getting cancelled. Uh, Leon Black, that's an all-time character from No Near Enthusiasm. Oh, Asios is back. Asios, what were you doing? Were you getting heads while... Um, Picking out tomorrow's chess guesser puzzle. Please answer 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 truthfully. Yeah, I know you too well. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, this is none too interesting. Oh, don't want to withdraw from the tournament? Nope. Just trying to close the wrong tab. This one is finished. Then the next round should start, no? I have five out of five, which I share with. Oh, we have the um, other Bortnik. Does the other Bortnik also play the Aliakin? Let's try and find out. Yeah, of course. Should I play the same line as I played against... Oh, he plays like this. So the idea is C6. Uh, C4, Knight, B6. E6, F, E6. I mean, the line is not supposed to be good, but... Unprepared, you know. I'm, I'd rather just go for something... Um... 
for something different. And now for something completely different. Uh, wait a sec. So if I go, uh, if I go but knight c3, maybe bishop g4 is in the way. <laughs> oh, Asios, isn't that, isn't that a little, that's really funny, but isn't that a little too smell, a reference? I like it though. Little Cleary. Monty Python reference, yes. We got some old people in chat. Not really smell? Okay, I trust you. Meanwhile, I'm not doing too well in this game. Uh... Now, I, I would want to play b3, but that's not possible because of bishop f6. Then I have to play queen d3, maybe, which is less than ideal. Knight d7, knight e5, tummy tempo. Uh, okay, let's go with d1. I'm hoping for this. I mean, or hoping for. Um, Planning for it, at the very least. This chat feels like the people's chat. Ikaro is so only 50 year olds from Texas. It's very specific. But maybe that is where his demographic skews. Who knows? New, new commands from Asios is what I live for. Yeah, it's pretty funny. First time chatter saying no, Icarus chat is 14 to 16 year olds. Well, you probably are a 14 to 16 year old, 16 year old so you would know, yeah? I'm literally forcing, yeah, of course. 94 takes queen b3 i can take on b7 looks fine queen takes also looks fine You're 30, congrats. When did you turn 30? Are you feeling the decline? Uh, did you come from Hikaru's chat though? That's what I wonder. Meanwhile in the game, if anybody cares, don't have much. My opponent's playing pretty well. Very solid. Should I trade? I think for now I won't. I'm trying to get some 94 maybe. Or at least remind him that it's a possibility. D3 and then 94. And I'm hoping to win control over the long diagonal. So h5, the point is if I go f h4, that I can never drive away his knight from e5 so that's pretty clever so i'll go h3 instead i think h4 g4 just gives me a lot of space b5 that was unexpected i guess i'll take it a3 hope that b5 is weak rook e2 Knight c4, I'll go queen d3. I should maybe have gone queen d3 immediately. 
actually. Nah, that was a little bit inaccurate. Just hoping for some tricks with queen f3, but queen e4 seems okay. What is he? Putting some his pieces on some slightly uh, weird squares now. Let's go rook e3. Rook f3. I was thinking that this trade was good for me, but maybe it isn't. Ah, I missed this one. I was only thinking of knight c4 and then b4 followed by knight b5. Now I may be in a little bit of trouble. How is this guy so good? Story of my title Tuesdays. Losing to an assortment of Bortniks. Is he threatening anything? I don't know. I think this is pretty hard to hold. Oh, he's just mating me. Okay, I'll let him mate me. Very good game, sir. Really good. I was just really outplayed there in the in the end game. Let me see. Yeah, so bishop rook f4 was horrible. Yeah, after every other move, I'm much better. Uh, but I just missed knight d3. And then, oh, I could go rook to f e4 and then e7. Yeah, that would have saved the game. Or most probably would. Still better, knight a4, takes, takes, and queen of, uh, and king f6, but that's, uh, that's a difficult sequence to find. Uh, apart from that, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit better, but it's nothing special. And here I play maybe a little bit too hesitant hesitantly. I could have taken. Hmm. Yeah, as I said, like queen d3 would have been better. Yeah, I've had a lot of opportunities to take the initiative in the game, but Overall, he played very solid, and uh, he uh, played much better on the t in time pressure. So he won quite deservedly. So, would Forsen have lost this way? That is the question. Did I invoke the the Lord's name in vain? Now I'm back in the group with a lot of people. Like um, Kara and Ferruja as well have five and a half, but uh, five. But there are only five people at the moment that have five and a half or six. So, I mean, obviously, if I win the rest of my games, I'll um, most pro probably win the tournament and have a good tie break so far. So even with um, um, yeah, even with um even with uh, a draw four and a half then I could still have a chance but this was um, a bit of a blow oh we get Kamski the FFL okay we gotta try and beat him Uh, let me see, he goes e4. Does he want open Sicilians? Let's see if he does. Well, I guess he does. 
Don't think I want to play Sveshnikov against him. Oh, he goes for uh, the old school setup here. Air quality check? Yeah, exactly. Wait a sec, now he goes to d4? Usually the knight goes to a3. Um. So, like, if I play a normal setup, then I have a6 for free, but still white is a little bit better, so... I guess why people don't play this as white is because I get d5, but that's maybe a little bit too... Yeah, maybe this is just a tad too dry. Should I go knight d4? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is a little bit dry. Oh, Asios is going? Good night. You did a hell of a job, as usual. Oh, Kamsky has five and a half, so probably not unhappy if. Um, if he draws this one, let's go bishop d6. Bishop d2 is a little bit, it's a little bit stiff, I would say. Let's go rook b8. Could potentially activate that rook. Oh, he goes takes and and then uh, bishop c3. Yeah, that's clever. a little bit like a game we had earlier today but in that game I was a tempo uh, sorry I was a pawn up here three equal pawns hmm I was thinking queen b6 but bishop e5 is a little bit annoying This position is pretty. Hmm. Pretty boring. Okay, I'm gonna take Queen B6. I think I have to play like this in order not to be considerably worse. I think realistically, I just have to play for a draw here. Ah, uh, I missed. I missed this. Yeah, he's playing it well. Like, he could have gone rook a5 earlier, but then I get rook c6 with activity. The way he does it now, I'm just tied down. Okay, let's go g5. I can get this square for the king. And then potentially activate the rook. h3 is a little bit stiff. Uh, that's a clever strategy. He knows I cannot really take a draw. But he's, as I said, like, it's not really improving. I think 
I think I'm okay now. Like, I don't think I'm really worse anymore here. Uh, okay, let's... No, I don't think rook a6 is an issue, so just queen loop pawn on a dark square. Let's go. F6. And rook c6. Now I've gained the open file. Okay. Oh, I thought I could. Yeah, I thought I could take on h3, but a6 is hanging, unfortunately. God, I don't think I have a choice. Takes king d6 back. This ending is rather double-edged. I mean, he does have the. He does have the connected pass pawns, but my pawns seem to be. Seem to be just as dangerous. So I'll go here, push. And when he stops it with the king, I'll push the other one. Or maybe it's just better now. Ah, uh, maybe I'm not. Bishop b7, what is bishop b7? I mean, he can go king e3, but then I get h2. h2. Too complicated. d2 has to win somehow. Yeah, king e3, bishop g4, uh, king e2, bishop g4, wins. What a mess. What a mess. But we get a win, which is good. Oh, b6 was a draw? Probably could have won earlier. Yeah, I had the feeling that this was was not bad for me. Uh, I mean, it's a, it was a draw, but now black is much better. Yeah, this is way too complicated. Especially while <laughs> while trying to to talk as well. Not okay. We'll get a we we we'll take the win. Jospin beat Bortnik. Um, let's, and, uh, Firuja won as well, Kari won. Let's watch, um, this game between, I'm confused. Am I watching from White's perspective? Yeah, I am. Okay. So the pawns are trying to, looks like Vincent has not made progress. A long time, and he's probably gonna make a draw now. And I think this means that after this round, only Jospin will be ahead of me. There will be like 15 players, on uh, actually, literally 15 players on 6 out of 7, and then Jospin with 7 out of 7. And naturally, then I do face Jospin. Okay, let's play d4. So this one is kind of a um, kind of a big game. If I am to win this tournament. Oh yeah, that's right. He plays lines like this. Oh, this is the way he plays. I think he plays the position just after e4 and so on pretty well. So I'll just go e3. Just to give him a, a bit of a different look. C4. 
e5, I can maybe go e4. Uh, e4 looks okay. Cd, okay. <laughs> no talk now, let him concentrate. Indeed. Should I take a d4? Or bishop e4? Bishop e4 takes knight c6. I kind of take back the pawn, so I guess I'll take like this. D6, ED. I'm not thrilled about what I've done here, but it seems okay. Knight on D6 is a little bit awkward, maybe. Yeah, I have to put the bishop on E2. Otherwise, I drop c4, but I think that's fine. Rook c1. And eventually, I'm hoping to make something of this majority on the on the queen side. Okay, let's go queen c2 now. Maybe queen a4. Am I running into g5 stuff? No, I don't think so. Let's go queen f4. I don't threaten to take on um, on a7 at the moment, but I was hoping I was hoping that the queen would be better on c2, and that if he plays the bishop to e4, then he does have the same I. My position, my pieces are placed the same way as they were three moves ago, but he cannot put the knight in e4 anymore, which means that b4 is a pretty, um, uh, pretty considerable positional threat. Uh, yeah, let's go b4 now. Knight d3. I guess he does. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Now I don't have much at all. Bishop e2. No. Yeah, then I don't really have anything at all here. Hmm. I give up c4, but I get queen d7 with a double attack on 7 and e7, so... I'm still still fine, but I'm not, I'm not better. And winning the game will not be easy. I'm not sure this was an improvement for him. This is a bit tense now. Yeah, I was kind of bluffing, but he could he could take on on um, d 
one and c four. I don't, I'm not sure if I was better there, but I was thinking he probably wouldn't want to do that. Hmm. Queen exchange seems just a tad panicky to me. Don't think there was any reason to do that. But he's still completely fine, of course. Yeah, there really isn't all that much to hope for here. Takes, takes, rook d7. I don't know. At least I'm making him calculate a little bit. And I'm hoping, like, I was hoping to get bishop f4 there. He's really spending a lot of time now. Problem is I cannot do anything about the pawn on on C four really. Okay, now he's it's giving me the H file as well. Oh, I have some hope. Check. B seven. I'm winning B five. Tricky guy, he's hoping for f4. Oh, I cannot take. Push. He's panicking now. Okay, big win. Really, at the last two games, they've just been um, <laughs> about outlasting my opponents. Like, the play hasn't been very good. Haven't really been superior, showing superior understanding. But, you know, wins are wins. And um, magically, I'm in this massive logjam now of people on... Um, 7 out of 8. Just look at the names. Jospim, obviously, because he was on 7 out of 7. Firusha, Big Fish, Fedoseev, Bortnik, Mikola, um, and uh, Maxim, as well as Hikaru and Awander Liang. Those are some big players. And then we have Karana and Naroditsky on 6.5. And we even have one more game running here. No, we, so we have a few more players actually on six and a half, yeah. Big, so we have a little break. I will take some more, more water and um, I will be back very soon.
Oh. Did the game start? What the fuck? It wasn't supposed to start immediately. This is... This must be a bug. This is it's not good. Just sitting here waiting. No, but usually there is there is a break after after round eight, so you know. I'm not shocked that people are not at the keyboard yeah, this is it's not good haha <laughs> he just came back in time okay So I'll just sit and talk to chat a little bit. We should restart the game, really, I think. We really, I mean, this is clearly a bug. So I think like restarting the game would be the only reasonable option. This is, yeah, like, Alarisa apparently won already, probably on time. But this is, yeah, this is just dumb. I kind of do some command to give him more time, no? This is dumb. I'm gonna wait a bit. First time chatter, Canty. Welcome, Canty. Is this good content? That's what I always ask. Like normally I'd say that like being on time is people's own sort of responsibility, but this is clearly a bug. I don't like if so all of a sudden like this tournament has no break, they need to announce it a little bit better than they did if they did but i think it's just a bug okay time to go we got ourselves a harper bolt game but with increment though Nice and friendly. Uh, what do we do here? E6 maybe? Uh, 
this is obviously pretty silly. <laughs> and I'm worse. Why am I worse? This is unnecessary. Four seems weird. Push page six? No, it's not a big deal. Is this a big deal? Maybe it was a big deal. I have no idea. Really none. Just walk. Oh, I thought I had Queen G6. Fuck! <laughs> Is it a draw? No, I think I lose. No, I lose. Ah, that was so dumb. That was so unnecessary. I could have just made a draw. And then I blundered D2. Ugh. This is just trying to play for a win there. Yeah, that was silly. Really silly. I mean, obviously a lot of mistakes were made in this game. But uh, that's what happened. That's what happens when you play the whole game with 12 seconds. <sighs> yeah, you could have taken on d5, of course, but... This was just, just as good. A rookie seven. That's ah, hard to see. I don't have. Like I played a lot of bullets a few weeks ago, but I don't, have, don't have my um, bullet skills right now. But really, I mean, this round should have been, should have been restarted. Like regardless of how this game would have ended. Um, this, this, uh, game should not have happened this way. So now we got a bit of an uphill battle, to put it mildly. We got, uh, we got Alareza, we got Fedoseev, and we got Maxim with 8 out of 9. And then we got a bunch of people, including Hikaru and Fabi with 7.5. Okay, Darda, this is the guy who rather rudely made it me into in a worse position, um, like a couple of months ago, so I'll be looking to do better this time. G6. Now he's allowing C3, D4. <laughs> yeah, some fireworks here outside. <laughs> Not crying after losing that game. Minus 100 streaming rating. Yeah, at the very least. John Moran pulls up. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, this way. He's only considering taking first. Oh, we got another mod? 
<laughs> Ikarify works after I lost the game, yeah. E6, D5? Looks pretty promising. I have mods, I changed, yeah. Welcome to the new reality. It's uh, dystopian reality. Why is my mind, why is my voice breaking? <laughs> Reform Magnus, yeah, not for the better. Um, wait a sec. Should I check on A4 or B5? And does it matter? Checking on A4 is slightly more precise. Puma these nuts? How does that even make sense? Bishop B5. So I'm threatening Bishop D7 followed by Queen A5. And I'm also threatening to take the Knight on E4. The only way to stop that seems to be Bishop B5. Or also knight f6, but then d6, start attacking e6 either by knight g5 or even with rook e1. I'm, if I'm staying in a hotel, like before I answer the question, what makes you think that? Just curious. Okay, so he just gives up the piece. I guess he does have some token compensation because my queen is a little bit misplaced, but realistically it's not much. This is should be pretty easy. He has two pawns, but his pawns are not so strong, and I have good squares for my pieces. Five is an interesting try. I can just go bishop d4. I think we'll just take this. I should not have done that. That was really dumb. Yeah, that was, that was insane. That was so unnecessary. I thought like I was making my life easy, but I'm make, actually make, le making my life really hard. Oh, he had, um, he had rook a8 there. That was like his best chance of the whole game. He may have had real chances to hold then. Now he's lost again. Okay, that's not... Ah, I don't want to think. It's simple then. No pawn grabbing. Well, some pawn grabbing now that everything's protected. A3, preventing B4. No counterplay for you, sir. Don't plunder the bishop. We'll go take another pawn. Yeah, it's a little bit of counterplay. B5. 
51. 94. Now I seem to have uh, consolidated again. And we'll take this one too, because why not? Everything's protected now. I like that. Take this one too. And protect the knight. Very hard to see what could go wrong. So after b3, he's going to resign. Almost certainly. And uh, I gotta say, like, this is a. Oh, he didn't. Okay. He's playing a little bit more. This is almost like a picture perfect kind of coordination where every piece is just very nicely protected. And I have a million extra pawns. Now I have to win with some mundane fork instead. But I want to go back to this position. I really like this one. Rook is trapped. Absolutely everything is protected. Except the rook, of course. But these pawns, these pieces, like, it's the advantage of having four extra pawns as well as extra minor pieces. Mundane fork, nerd. Yeah, unfortunately. Which way are the pawns moving? Oh, the pawns in h2. So, which means that Maxim. Oh, Alireza won again? Did he have to make a move this time, though? Who knows? <laughs> and Maxim drew. And Fabiano won, so. Fabiano, Andrekin, uh, and Maxim are an eight and a half. And um, uh, Alreza is a nine. And um, myself, as well as a bunch of other people, um, like Hikaru, are an eight out of ten. We also have Raswan Priotu. Shout out to Raswan, one of my. Uh, Chess Bras teammates on the Proches League teams. On the Proches League team. Um, oh. And Big Fish lost. Probably to Alreza, so this means that I just gifted him 2 minutes and 50 seconds for no reason. It was all for naught. Furja didn't win on time, but how did he win so quickly then? Or maybe he just is a beast at chess. This could also be. I take it back. Oh, he smoked a wonder. Okay, makes sense. Once, once again, I was being mean for absolutely no reason. Can you wish happy birthday to my brother, uh, Jerome Inindla? How do you pronounce that? Igin, Iginla, whatever. Igin, yeah. I, I know that was the, the hockey player and the... Uh, um, on the wall in the room where I was playing from, but I don't, I don't really, um, I don't really know hockey that well. So we got Shugirov, pretty strong player. Let's play the Alihekin. I haven't played the Alihekin in a bit. I mean, I clearly have no chance at winning the tournament now, but maybe I could get third or fourth if I win the game. <laughs> Bandy is better than my Saki. Yeah, not sure about that. Okay, that's something. It's 
something similar against like Alireza or Wesley or somebody at some event. Usually black just goes c6, but those positions are pretty... I mean, I ended up going... Was it a4, a4 and then c5? I seem to remember, like, the point of bishop e6 is that you keep the option of playing a quick c5. Now, wait a sec. So here, a4, bishop a2, c5 dc, bishop e5, rook e5, then knight b4. And there are background issues for him. I think that probably works. Let's see. Maybe just c4 is strong. Who knows? Yeah, he goes for it, which makes a lot of sense. Could have played g4 there as well in the last move, but. Not sure if it did much. Knight of three is not that convincing to me. But what should I do about it? Should I go bishop g4? Go change? Hmm, not so sure. Let's go e6. B8, maybe this wasn't great. I'm banking on the fact that his bishop on a2 is not currently taking part in the game. This maneuver, however, does not look right to me. Can't you just go knight c8 and pick off pick off the bishop now? We'll see. He has to go for h3, I think, and then g4. h3, I'll probably go h5. Okay. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Yeah, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. Now the game is really complicated. Maybe I could have taken the knight of six after g4, I sack on g4, and I'm doing really well. Oh well, should I take, okay. Take with a knight maybe? So I go rook a6. Oh, a4 is also hanging. Yeah, this could get seriously out of hand. Like, I think I'm better, but. Or at least not worse. But position is not easy to play, and we're both getting short of time. No, he doesn't take the pawn. Surprising to me. Okay, let's go queen c7. Queen has been camping on b8 for a little bit too long. He's not leaving himself a lot of chances though with his time expenditure. 
Now I'm protecting a4. Attacks for knight b6, attack c4. Centralize finally. Centralize some more. I just need not to blunder. Okay, four is pretty helpful. Now I got e5. And this is desperation on his part. Let's go bishop e7, protect all the squares. It's a good try, hoping for knight f6. But I have a lot of time, so I'm not going to blunder that. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Takes, check. And just bishop g7. That's game over. Okay. Well, I'm currently fourth, it seems. Doesn't bode well for my hopes of being top three. I'm shadow banned again. With zero viewers. Oh. What happened? What did I do this time? That's a shame. Car is better. And he's generally better than Vincent at hustling these positions. So I'm predicting a white win here. This is completely winning for white now. F3 is good technique. D6, rook B5, it's all over. Rook D5 maybe, or rook B8. No, not C5. Oh, 94. 94 would have picked off D6, but still he would have taken A4 and he's completely winning. But now E5. Well, rookie seven. Car is probably pretty tired. But he's winning easily anyway. So we got we got right now um we got uh Alresa and Andrekin on nine and a half. And uh we got a bunch of people on um on nine, including myself. And Hikaru and uh, Maxim and Big Fish. Well, not a bunch of people, those five. And uh, let's, before we finish the stream, let's just see who gets a podium place. Will I ever clean my room? There should be a command for room. Like I've talked about whether or not this is my room. A lot of times, but there should be a command. Azios has gone to bed. No, there's no command. I'm fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily, I have the same tie break as Ikaru. Uh, 68 points. We're both missing one point for a nice score and um, a few more points to, to get to... Um, um, to get to Maxim's score. Um, so, overall, it was okay. Uh, I don't think I played that well. Um, but at the very least, I got nine and a half. Uh, I got nine out of ten in um, the Blitz games, you know. In the um, Hyper Bullet games, I unfortunately scored zero out of one. But th then again, obviously, it's the player's fault for not being ready for a uh, for a tournament that suddenly doesn't have a um, a ha have a break when it usually has. You know, we gotta be we gotta be alert. Gotta be alert that we could get disconnected at any time. Breaks could be cut, and so on. But I think I, I think at least it was better that we played a hyper bowl game than than that we um 
uh, than that I just played with three minutes against ten seconds. Because regardless of the result, if that happens, then nobody's happy. But the way that we played, then you know, at least we got a got a fun scramble from from the start, even though it was some somewhat nerve wracking. So I do think we're getting to the um, portion of the stream where we're thinking of um, sending some raids. Let me just see. Uh, oh, I don't, we have never raided Naroditsky before, no? So let's do that. Yeah, I'm shadow banned. I have zero viewers. There seem to be people in chat, but uh, he's ending. Oh, okay. Well, probably gonna raid both as live instead then. This is 9k for you. No, that's wrong. We have zero viewers. Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay, so thank you all for following. And, um, you know, I think this, this was, was good. We fixed tech issues very early. Uh, and uh, then, you know, we actually played some reasonable chess. Like, I'm not that unhappy with the way that I played. I, I, I hustled reasonably in scrambles, of course. Lost uh, the game against um, Fedest Ev. Um, but nevertheless, I think I did okay. So, see you sometime, and um, thanks for now.